The Nasdaq continues to make all-time highs as the relationship between the U.S. and China continues to make all-time lows. Not only does China have a genocide going on against their Muslim community, but we just found out they've been spying on us this whole time through a popular app called TikTok. Stay tuned as Jared's going to cover all the major news stories from last week as well as the returns, and I'm going to be covering everything that you need to know about the conflict with China. There were two major news stories from last week. First is that GDP fell about 33% in the second quarter. Now, if you're not familiar with what GDP is, that's gross domestic production, which basically means that economic production shrunk just under 33% in the second quarter. This was the largest quarterly drop on record, and that's mainly due to all of the economic shutdowns that we've seen from the coronavirus. The second news story was that the Fed said that they were going to keep interest rates unchanged at 0%, and they were going to do, quote unquote, whatever it takes to keep the economy afloat. This means that the Fed will probably continue buying corporate bonds on the open market for the foreseeable future. And now getting into the returns from last week, the NASDAQ led the way up 3.69% just last week. And that was off the backs of three of the major tech companies reporting their earnings and blowing those earnings out of the water. The S&P 500 also had a strong week, up about 1.7%, and now is positive for the year. And it's also important to note that half of the S&P 500 companies have reported their earnings so far, and 84% of those companies have beaten their expectations, which has been a surprise so far. The Dow Jones was the only U.S. index that was negative last week and is still down over 7% for the year. And the Russell 2000, although it was up almost a percent last week, still down double digits year to date. Foreign markets were down about 2% last week and are now down double digits joining the Russell 2000. While emerging markets were up about 0.4, now down 3.5% for the year and getting closer to break even. On Friday of last week, the U.S. announced economic sanctions against China for what's being cited as systemic demographic genocide of the Uyghur Muslim population. It's being reported that there are concentration camps set up and they are rounding up the Uyghur Muslim women to go to them. And once they arrive, they're being checked to see if they're pregnant. And if they are pregnant, they're aborting the children. Then they're being forced birth control, IUDs, and other forms of sterilization. So when they leave the camps, they can actually no longer have children. They are also rounding up the Uyghur men and taking them to different concentration camps where they are re-educating them on how overpopulation can hurt China. The economic sanctions that the U.S. put on China were actually on the military institution that's running these camps and their two senior officials, and they are no longer able to work with the U.S. or any U.S. companies. Moving from one Chinese company to another, and now let's move on to TikTok. TikTok, for those of you that don't know, is a social media platform that was originated in China, but has really taken off here in the US as well. There are over 800 million users worldwide, and the app's been downloaded over 2 billion times. Here in the US, there's approximately 130 million users, and the demographics for the app range between 16 to 24 for the most part. And President Trump has announced that he's going to be banning TikTok as early as this week. And he's citing that the U.S. has found spyware inside of the app software that is targeting and spying on Americans and sending that data back to China. Now, the U.S. wouldn't be the first country to ban TikTok, as India has already done that, and Australia is talking about banning it as well. Now, in swoops Bill Gates' old company, where they're trying to capitalize off of the conflict, and they're trying to buy TikTok's U.S. arm. Now, I'm not really sure what side of the fence President Trump is on them buying TikTok, but what I do know is that President Trump said that he's going to be banning the app. Not only do we have everything going on with China, but we're officially only three months from the U.S. election. And the market tends to be a little more volatile the closer you get to election time due to uncertainty. And this one seems a little crazier than most. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow us on Facebook.